Aha! I, I bet you guys were not expecting this. Yo guys, what's up? It's your buddy Bulldozer Man. And well, welcome to a very special video. Yeah, I've been in the mood to, you know, revisit the Sim City series, you know, as of late. If my playing a uh, field town didn't didn't, you know, make that clear, so I figured as long as I'm here playing these games, I might as well, you know, make a tier list about them, because I've played pretty much every game in the series, with very few exceptions. I've seen enough online, you know, reviews of the rest of them to you know, comfortably be able to judge all these games, so. Yep, from, yep, from the late 80s all the way to 2013. Where is SimCity 2013 on here? Oh, oh, it's right there. Yep, we're gonna be ranking pretty much every mainline SimCity game that has come out during the entire series lifespan. You know, it should be clear, I'm not gonna be ranking every version of every single game because a lot of them do kind of tend to, you know, do kind of, you know, tend to, you know, land <laughs> together like you know like I'm pretty sure there were a, if there was a console release of uh, SimCity 4 it'd be the exact same as the PC version so yeah yeah the various versions of SimCity 2000 are pretty much a core exception because each one has different features that separates it from the other games so yeah and also, I won't be ranking any Sims games or too many of the spinoffs where you're not, uh, you know, where you aren't managing a city. Like, like if you aren't the mayor of a city, then more than likely the, the game's not uh, going to show up here. This is strictly Sim City, so no The Sims or, or, or you know, any of that garbage. So, oh yeah, also, one more thing, I will not be including uh, expansion packs of any sorts in pretty much most of these games unless they add something to the core game, like the SimCity 2000 Urban uh, Renewal Kit, that doesn't count, but SimCity 4 Deluxe Edition with the, with the Rush Hour expansion pack, that does count, so... All that said, let's get to it. First and foremost, the original, the OG, Sim City Classic. And one of the only two games in the series that I actually own a a physical copy of. You know, like I still have a physical disc for this game. It first came out in 1989. It was well. I assume it was on 1989, going by the, uh, well, the title screen of uh, of the of the Super Nintendo game, but it was the first in the series. It was totally new, totally like I don't even know how to describe it. This game changed the game industry forever, and it can still be felt even to this day. And even all, even all these years later, it's still a fun game. The only thing is, it's it's really simplistic. So, if you like, you know, simplicity, you know, don't have to worry about water, garbage, zoning, <laughs> zoning, <laughs> density, subways, or stuff like that. It can still be a, yeah, it can still be a really fun time. The only thing is, there isn't really a dedicated map editor like in the game itself you have to get that separate as an expansion and as i said i won't be counting uh you know expansions that don't add anything to the core city to the core city city management so so it's not like sim city for rush hour so that terrain editor doesn't count so Without that, 
the maps are what they are. You can't really change them. So, yeah. And on top of that, the game, well, hard mode is just an absolute piece of shit in this game. I mean, my god. With how fast things can go south, I haven't met a single person who could get a functional city up to even, like, even, like, like, Metropolis level on hard mode in this game without, without, you know, an earthquake hitting or a tornado happening or freaking Godzilla showing up. Or even worse, a nuclear power plant exploding. You no, know, that's a thing. So, yeah, the first game definitely has its faults, but it is, you know, like the OG. Like, it started the franchise off strong, so I'm going to give it a solid B tier. It's still a fun game, but it is certainly dated. <laughs> okay, next up. Oh, here's a classic. The Super Nintendo port of SimCity Classic. I mean, my god, if it wasn't SimCity Classic that got people... That got people hooked hooked on this series, like like back in the '90s, and not to uh, SimCity 2000. It was probably the uh, <laughs> the uh, Super Nintendo port. This game was originally going to be on the Nintendo Entertainment System, but they very wisely chose to wait until you know until you know let the Super Nintendo was making making its rounds to you know you know actually release this thing and that was a good call on their part this game this game can keep you busy for hours it was the first game to feature uh gifts you know you know a <laughs> presence you know, that you get at certain milestones it was the first time an advisor you know, showed up in the game you know you know mr <laughs> dr Wright. and also the music in this game is just awesome like Seriously, I could listen to this this Metropolis theme for hours. <laughs> yeah, while it does suffer from a lot of the same problems that the uh, SimCity Classic has, that being there no real way to you know modify the maps without you know without you know using cheats and the fact that hard mode can still be a can still be a <laughs> pain pain in the ass. This game does have that fancy, uh, million, uh, that one million, uh, a, a dollar code that can really, you know, that can really make it more approachable for newbies, so, yeah. Just for that, and just because, you know, this game's more, more accessible nowadays compared to, compared to, compared to, compared to SimCity Classic, like, hell, you, 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 you could even play, like, you can even play this version on your phone if you want. So just for that, Super Nintendo SimCity, you're getting this tier. Plus, there's a lot of fans of this game, and I feel like if I, I feel like if I rank this any lower, I'm probably gonna get shot or something. So, <laughs> next up, SimCity Enhanced CD-ROM. Uh, it's pretty much SimCity Classic, except with really corny, really cheesy, uh, 3D video, uh, uh, thingamabobs of your advisors. I thought it was decent. Again, it suffers from the same problems that, uh, that, uh, SimCity Classic had. Except, I don't think the uh, terrain, uh, it was a thing in this one, so... Much like, much like, uh, much like, you know, much like with, with Super Nintendo game, what you get with the maps is, is what you get. Well, actually, now that I think about it, the Super Nintendo game had the, had the, had the, had the debug mode, but this game doesn't have, doesn't really have, like, any of that, so, yeah. Yeah. It's still a good game, but it's definitely uh, lower than, you know, lower than any other version of a <laughs> SimCity one. So I'm thinking a C tier for that one.
Ah, uh, next up. Oh boy, here we go. The game that, you know, the game that they milked more than Capcom milking, you know, more than Capcom milking the original Resident Evil 4. SimCity 2000. Who hasn't heard of this game? It's been on so many different systems, like, it's not even funny. This game was... This game was a nice uh, follow-up to a SimCity classic. With the new camera angle, zone density, you know, different advisors, the city water system, and adding a lot more new, uh, new uh, kinds of... Uh, new kinds of... Uh, new... There's lots of new kinds of power plants, so you didn't have to rely on the polluting coal or the exploding nuclear anymore. Come to think of it, I wouldn't advise using nuclear power at all in this game, because they could be pretty volatile, so... Yeah. <laughs> but, hey, SimCity 2000, it was an excellent follow-up to, you know, a SimCity classic. Apparently, Maxis must have thought so, because they milked this game for all it was worth, you know, <laughs> back in the day. But, for this entry right here, we're looking at the original uh, DOS version, you know, you know, the original SimCity 2000 version. I'm thinking of a solid <laughs> A tier for this one. Yeah, it's pretty much better than SimCity Classic in just about, in just about every way. SimCity 2000, Game Boy Advance version. I don't like this version. The controls are a little counterintuitive. At least they felt that way to me compared to how the Super Nintendo game played. Uh, they got rid of the water system for some reason. And I don't know if it's just me, but I think the crime rate in this game is kind of bugged. Because I remember putting... Three police stations in one tightly packed area. They still had numbers of crimes being reported in the five digit in the five digit area. And this was with a city with like I don't know six thousand people. I don't know something about the crime rate in this game just felt off to me. And, you know, on top of pretty much just being a uh, you know, SimCity 2000, but scaled down to fit on a small to fit on a small. Like a portable system, something about it just fell off to me. Like they probably, they probably would have been better off porting the Super Nintendo game, but they didn't. What we got is a watered down version of of SimC 2000 that felt pretty buggy. So I'm thinking a, <laughs> I'm thinking a D tier for that one. Like I suppose it is worth the time to track down if you're interested in. SimCity 2000 and don't have like don't have you know like <laughs> if you don't have anything else to play it on but if you have ac Ugh, damn cat if you have access to the DOS version or some other version then I'd say go for those okay next the Nintendo 64 version of SimCity 2000. This game is very weird. I mean, the core city like management's a uh, management is about the same as the other versions. But why did they put all that optional stuff in it? Like a dating mini game? This is supposed to be a series about being the mayor of your own city, not a fucking dating sim. No, I'm sorry. I cannot. I can't. This version cannot be defended. It's not the worst version of SimCity 2000. Okay, actually, yes, it is. Well, it's not the worst game in the series, but it definitely felt like the weakest version of like of SimCity 2000. So that, that's an E tier for that one. It's not the worst ever, but it it's definitely. Pretty strange, pretty confusing, and not entirely, 
you know, that's something that something that I can see myself going back to. SimCity 2000 Network Edition. Pretty much SimCity 2000, except with you know, uh, except with multiplayer. Didn't I didn't really play this one myself, but from what I saw online, it looks like it could be a fun time if you can coordinate with your with your uh, a fellow mayor as well. Yeah, I never I never played it myself. Really, it just feels like Max is milking more more out of SimC 2000 than than they really should have. So that's a C tier for that one. Lower than. Lower than you know, uh, SimCity enhanced the CD-ROM. All right, next up, the Sega Saturn version. Never played this version, but from but from what I saw, it's about on par with the it's about on par with the with the. <laughs> uh, what am I trying to say? Oh, with the. Huh? With the PlayStation One version, so I'm pretty sure it doesn't have the killer soundtrack of the PS One version, though. But this one did certainly, you know, have its perks. So I can see a solid. I can see a. I can see a B tier for that one. Oh boy, here we go. SimSay 2000 on Super Nintendo. I understand it has its perks, and it does have its perks, but it's nowhere close to, to the majesty of the original Sim City on Super Nintendo. This one, again, it runs into this, it runs into the same problem as the as the Game Boy Advance game. Like, it just feels like a watered down version of of like Sim City 2000. I mean, I mean yeah, you, you, I mean yeah, you know what the you know the water systems here and the crime rate didn't feel so buggy, but I don't know something about this version of the game just rub, rub, rubs me, you know, not the wrong way. I believe there's also a few scenarios that were exclusive to like to like <laughs> this version, but I don't know. It still doesn't quite, you know, you know, hold the candle to like to like the original. So, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of the D tier for that one. Yeah, it's yeah, it's on par with the Game Boy Advance version. If you can track down some other version of it, go ahead and play that. I would only revisit SimCity 2000 on Super Nintendo out of morbid, like, 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 like <laughs> curiosity. Otherwise, there's no. There isn't there isn't any real reason to go back to it. Here we go. My first official introduction to the Sim City franchise. Yeah, oddly enough, that was not Sim City on um, the Super Nintendo. That was the second game in the series, like that I played, with number three being the original, being the OG Sim City Classic. This is the first game in the series that I played. It is SimCity 2000 on the Sony PlayStation. What do I say about this version? Yeah, it is a little slower paced than the PC version. I mean, it's a console port of a PC game that's bound to happen, but this one has this one has a number of perks. I mean, you can drive around your city. There's Oh, there's all there's all the scenarios um, of the PC version that would be added in that version with the great <laughs> disastrous expansion pack. This had all that bundled into one game, and the soundtrack. Oh my God, this is without a doubt the best version of SimCity 2000 soundtrack. You know, if the fact that I'm constantly playing it in the background when I'm playing Theo Town, you know. You know, like, didn't make that clear. <laughs> I mean, this game is just a classic. It's just, like, seriously, it's incredible. 
It's what SimCity on it's what SimCity 2000 on the N64 should have been. Just a straight port of the PC game with all its with all its <laughs> bonus stuff included. It did not need any of that stupid dating sim bullshit. So yeah, it's no contest. If I had to pick one version of SimCity 2000, you know, to go back to these days, it would be the it would be like the PS1 version. And just like the Super Nintendo game, it's more accessible these days, thanks to the fact that well, PlayStation One, well, well, PS1, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, emulators for PlayStation 1 are a thing nowadays. So you can actually even, you know, <laughs> play this masterpiece, like, on your cell phone. So, yeah. Just for that, that's an S tier. It's a game that got me hooked on the series, and it's still a blast to play. Like, like, like hell, you know what? It's not only a blast to play, it's a blast to listen to, even. You know, even now, because that soundtrack, man, that shit is a banger. <laughs> SimCity 3000, the original beta version. F tier. The beta version of SimCity 3000. Damn near sunk the series. Damn near sunk Maxis. And got Maxis bought out by... Uh, electronic Arts. Ugh. It's my soul to even mention it. It's, yeah. This version of the game never saw, you know, never saw, you know, but the light of day because of how badly it, it, it freaking butchered the series. So they can go sit in F tier. SimCity 3000, the real version. I, I, I personally felt like it was a good uh, follow-up to SimCity 2000. It was certainly, it was certainly much different. I mean, yeah, the camera angle was the same, and it pretty much used an updated version of SimCity 2000's art style, but it was still a pretty solid game. Of course, nowadays with uh, you know, with like SimCity 4 and Games like, uh, games like, you know, Fio <laughs> Town, like, like, you know, out and about, there's not much reason to, you know, to <laughs> go back to SimCity 3000 nowadays, but, well, back in the day, it was EA's first jab at the series, you know, once they acquired Maxis, and I, I uh, yeah, you know what, I think they, I think they both did a pretty solid job at this one, so yeah, I'm thinking a solid B, a rock solid B tier for for SimCity 3000 by itself. SimCity 3000 Unlimited took SimCity 3000, pretty much, pretty much added a whole bunch of new stuff from its expansion packs. It's pretty much SimCity 3000, but with more content. To, you know, experience. That's an A tier. Very easy. That's one of the easiest <laughs> A tier throughout the entire list. Sim City 4. Where do I even start with this game? It was the last mainline Sim City game before, you know, the series has crumbled. And, well, really. What do you say about this game? It's pretty much, it's the mo it's the best, most feature rich game in the entire series. Really, I think there's a reason why so many people hold this game in such high, in such high standing. I mean, I mean, if it's not this, if it's not the Super Nintendo game being hailed as the best in the franchise, it's probably SimCity 4. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> that just speaks volumes for you know how much of an impact this game had. And even today with city skylines and stuff out and about, people still, you know, go back to 
they still have the need to go back to SimCity 4. So, yeah. Yeah. Just for that, solid A tier. This game is amazing. And is it really any question where I'm going to throw the enhanced version of it, SimCity 4 Deluxe Edition? The Rush Hour expansion pack just brought so much new stuff to this game. It's it is literally the kind of game that can keep you busy for hours on end. It's like days, weeks, months, years, it doesn't matter. SimCity 4 Deluxe Edition. If you're planning a career as a city planner or whatnot, this is pretty much an early training tool for that sort of for that sort of <laughs> that sort of like uh, yeah, I think you know what I mean. And for all that, and because this is the SimCity game that I most, you know, that I most replay nowadays, you know, when I'm not playing Field Town, that's an S tier. Like, plus, I'm pretty sure if I rate this game, you know, any lower than an S, probably gonna get crucified. So, don't worry, SimCity 4 fanboys. I'm right with you on that one. This, this is by far, you know, like the best, the best, like, a game in the franchise, like, right next to that one. Oh boy, now we're getting into some of the spinoffs, or, you know, the, you know, the, uh, the, uh, 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 portable games. Some of the other games that, that came out around the time. SimCity Societies? Never played it. Felt like a ripoff of the... What was that game I played on? Those old uh, flip phones way back when? Uh, Little Big City? Uh, I'm not sure. SimCity Society's never really felt like a proper SimCity game to me, so... It still has merit, but... If you're looking for a more, you know... Traditional SimCity experience, you're probably going to be pretty... <laughs> You're probably going to be pretty, like, I'm disappointed with this one, so I'd say D tier. It's not the worst, but it's definitely not what you think of when you think of, you know, when you think of classic SimCity. Uh, SimCity DS. Pretty much SimCity 2000 and 3000 for, for a, uh, for a, a for for a, uh, uh, for a portable system. And honestly, this one's actually not that bad. I mean, yeah, it does have its drawbacks, but it's still a pretty solid, it's still a pretty solid, you know, a solid SimCity game, like, all around. Like, again, pretty much 2,000, 3,000 for a, for something, you know, on a handheld, so it's definitely not above any of these, though. So, yeah, it's definitely, you know, bottom B tier. It's still a good game. One I would definitely, you know, recommend you check out if you're looking for a SimCity game on the Nintendo DS. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shove that one there. What's next? SimCity Creator. Pretty much SimCity DS, except with a needless story mode thrown in. And yeah, it does have a pretty cool concept, you know, traveling through time, watching how a city, you know, develops from from uh, era to era to era. But this one just felt like a slog to me. It felt like all right, it's been with SimCity DS, except you're traveling through time for some reason. And as you keep going along, you got to pile more things you have to worry about. Like, like, uh, like, I'm pretty sure in this game, pollution doesn't become a thing until like the, until the, the, uh, the 1900s. And so if you don't see it coming, it can just completely like, 
creep up on you from out of nowhere. Like, if you didn't build your city well in the previous eras. That just felt like a, a sort of a cheap shot to me. Because suppose, suppose, you know, nobody else has played any of the game in the series and they pick up this game. How are they ever going to see that coming? So yeah, SimCity Creator, it, like, it's okay, it's got, it's got strong points, but it definitely felt weaker than a SimCity, like, like, yes to me, so. Again, I think it's worth, it's worth the time if you're curious, but otherwise, <laughs> I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't <laughs> go back to it nowadays, so, yeah. Yeah, that's a C tier. <laughs> C for creator. Wow! The Sims Carnival Snap City. Nobody asked for a Tetris knockoff of Sim City Maxis. E tier <laughs> for that one. It could still be a fun time if you're morbidly curious, but otherwise, just skip this. I'm like. Like, seriously, I'm not even sure if this counts as a SimCity game, but... Eh, close enough, I guess. I really just wanted... A, I really just wanted a, a, an excuse to say SimCity and Tetris in the same sentence. So, there you go. SimCity 2013. <laughs> Do you really have to ask? This game... This game at launch bombed harder than the Google Stadia. It took the whole series down with it and killed the studio that that pretty much created the franchise. So, Sorry, sorry SimCity 2013, but even 10 years later, you're still bottom of the barrel F tier. Yeah. Yeah, freaking go sit alongside the beta SimCity 3000, you dumpster fire. SimCity Build It. <laughs> yeah, that's all I have to say to this game. It's it's just a shitty mobile... It's just a shitty... Well, how do I want to put it? It's pretty much a mobile version of of, of the Sim, Sim, SimCity Societies. Except, well, it's a mobile game. Again, not exactly what you not exactly what you think of when you think OG classic SimCity, and especially compared to some other you know city like management sim games on mobile, especially you know compared to like Theo Town, it's not even a contest. This game, die. Sorry, this one's going in F tier. I know it's got its fanboys, and they're probably. They're probably going to jump my case for this, but... SimCity build it? This ain't it, Chief. More like SimCity wasting my fucking time. <laughs> so, yep. There you go. The SimCity tier list. <laughs> Again, I felt like... The Super Nintendo version of the original... The PlayStation port of 2000 and... SimCity 4 Deluxe Edition, those are the best free games in, you know, in like the entire series. They are definitely worth revisiting nowadays. Especially these two, thanks to the power of, you know, thanks to the power of emulation, you can, like, you can probably play these on your toaster now. So they're really accessible. More so than most of, you know, more so than most of you know, but the rest of the games on this list, like SimCity CD-ROM, good luck, you know, good luck, like getting that, you know, freaking working on on Windows 10 and you know, shit. And again, I think anything below C tier, not worth you know, checking out unless you're morbidly curious. Except, to, except you know, SimCity 2013, that game is just garbage. Like, there, there, bottom of the barrel F tier. 
only play this one if you don't have access to SimCity 4, City Societies, Fio Town, or those kinds of games. This game just ain't it. SimCity build it? No. <laughs> There's much, much <laughs> better options out there for a mobile SimCity game. So, yep, that's it. What do you guys think of this here tier list? Where would you rank, you know, where would you rank these games? I would love to know, so. <laughs> yep, let me know down in the uh, <laughs> comment section. And hey, it's been a blast. I've been your buddy. <laughs> I've been your buddy Bulldozer, man. And I will see you next time. Peace.